I don't know nearly as much as I should about speaking French, but one thing I know is that the francophones around me describe everything as perfect or super. Well, parfait or super. <laughs> yeah, the super thing is such a European thing. It oh, makes me laugh. Um, <laughs> like that. Yeah. Um, in English, though, people tend to vary their superlatives a bit more. Okay, so amazing gets bandied about a lot at the moment, and so does audit awesome. But, you know, we've got marvelous and tremendous and excellent and fabulous, wonderful. All these great words so that you don't get sick of the same old one. Well, the one that gets overlooked too often is terrific. And I've been wanting to bring it back, you know, get people embracing terrific. And I just didn't feel that the timing was right. I've kind of dabbled with it in the past, but today, today was terrific. And I'm like, terrific? Your time is now. So why it was today so terrific, you're thinking, well, okay, <laughs> turns out a lot of things in my life are very temporary, like the job I have finishes at the end of the month, the house I'm living in, I have to leave at the end of the month, and so um, there's a lot of uncertainty hanging over me. But today, the best thing happened. My flatmate, who's also moving out, she found somewhere nearby for a really good price, two-bedroom place, and was like, oh, um, come have a look at this place with me. We both saw it and just loved it <laughs> and got offered it and we're going to move in next month. So, wow, so excited about that. I mean, I love the place I'm living in, I really do, but I have to leave. And so the fact that I get to go somewhere, I'm equally as excited about living uh, and I get to live with the person I enjoy living with, like, oh, terrific.